Sag ich das wieder? Hermanandes. Ja, jetzt ja, ohne alles. Hermanandes. Two player board game invented by Robert Abbott in 1975. Wait, <laughs> Stephanie, just get him in the house. Yeah. What's up? It's played on a 14 by 12 board. Um, a board with 8 by 8 squares can also be used for fashion games. Um, the, objective, <laughs> the objective of the game is to have more of your, your checkers on your opponent's home row, last row from your perspective, than your opponent has his own checkers on your home row. First row from your perspective. In other words, moving a checker to the opponent's home row does not result in an immediate win. The opponent can move his own checkers to the player's home row or capture one of the player's intruders and thus avoid losing the game by making the number of checkers on both home rows equal. Right. Players move alternately starting from the player controlling the light checkers. The player and they move a single checker in any direction to an adjacent empty square, like a king in chess. A player may also choose to move a phalanx. Phalanx. Any number of players' checkers located on a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal line with no empty spaces or empty checkers between them. A phalanx may move any number of squares equal or less than the number of checkers in the phalanx. All checkers in the phalanx may move in both directions along the line of the phalanx. Phalanx may not move to or over squares occupied by other checkers of the same player. Phalanx, I'm sorry if I pronounced that one anything, but uh, may not move over squares occupied by enemy checkers as well, but the head checker of a phalanx may land on a square with the enemy checker if the length of the enemy phalanx formed by this and subsequent enemy checkers located on the same line is strictly smaller than the length of the move player's phalanx. In this case, the entire enemy phalanx is captured and removed from the board. Capture is not mandatory. To keep the game from being a draw due to contact moves, there is an additional rule. No player may move a piece onto their opponent's home row if that move creates a pattern of left to right symmetry on the board. Okay. Directs me to a link of the Wikipedia. I'll try to put the uh, work of Wikipedia down the uh, line, but it doesn't give too much. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, you can watch whatever you want, honey. Okay, so. You got to start? You got to start, bud. Can move that uh, in a phalanx. You can, so a single one can move like a king, and if they're in a group, uh, they can move as many as is in a group.
I know uh, someone commented on the last video we did, and, I, and was like, you had to win so many times during this game. And I was like, I'm not about to win. Oh, I mean, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're talking about you or me. Not entirely sure about how the speed developing. I guess I should be able to move more in time. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want to go up like too far either. I want to go up together. <laughs> I think those diagonal ones will get taken, so I'm not, I'm not too worried. Strategy of this one. Okay, is not. Oh, what's up? I, well, I'm not feeling good about Brazilian at all. I don't know what to do. Can't think of a plan.
think you can have to stop this, but I'm not entirely sure. I enjoyed that game. I, I mean, it was very confusing, but I think we should definitely play it again sometime in the future. And yeah, I enjoyed it.